Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Miner's Rule for Cumulative Damage Theory and its Application In this video, we will explain the SN curve and the endurance limit, the cumulative damage theory and the miner's rule and we will also see an application example of the miner's rule. Miner's rule for cumulative damage theory. Fatigue failure under cyclic loading. It is a well-known technical fact that materials fail at much lower cyclic loads compared to constant load. The lower the load and the stress, the higher will be the expected life of the materials. You can see in the diagram that at the loads S1, S2 and S3, the median life to fail becomes N1, N2 and N3 and as the stress goes down, the life increases. Researchers have found that at a certain stress called endurance strength, the life is practically infinite. Cycles to failure are usually on log scale. Fatigue life is the number of cycles until failure for a part subjected to repeated cyclic stresses over an extended period of time. The fatigue strength is usually much less than the strength under static load. Abundant experimental data is available in the form of stress versus number of cycles to fail. This is represented in a form of SN curve as shown below. Some materials such as steel have an infinite life below certain stress. This is called endurance limit. SN curve can be represented mathematically as number of cycles to fail equals a constant C into the stress raised to minus M, where C and M are constants greater than zero and these are determined experimentally. Fatigue life of a part can be estimated using Miner's rule which is based on linear cumulative damage theory. Let capital N1, N2, N3, etc. be the median number of cycles to failure at stress levels S1, S2, S3, etc. These stress levels are above the endurance limit of the material. Let us assume that the material is subjected to these stress levels for N1, N2, N3, etc. number of cycles respectively. Then, as per Miner's rule, small n1 upon capital N1 plus small n2 upon capital N2 plus small n3 upon capital N3 etc. up to small nk upon capital NK equals 1 that is unity. Miner's rule is based on linear cumulative damage theory as mentioned earlier. This means that cumulative damage will occur only if the applied stress is higher than the endurance limit. No damage will occur if the applied stress is lower than the endurance limit. Let us consider a simple example. Let us assume that for a particular material, life to fail at stress level S is 50,000 cycles. In the actual application, the item undergoes 20,000 cycles at this stress level. Therefore, 20,000 upon 50,000 that is 0.4 or 40% of the life is over at this stress level. Let us now consider a simple application example of Miner's Rule. Following figure shows SN curve for a particular material. This is from source Wikipedia. Duty cycle of a component is also shown in the table on the right side. Estimate expected life in cycles. As you can see from the duty cycle table, the stress level of 150 megapascals is active for about 10% of the time, 
110 megapascal stress is applied for 20% of the time and 90 megapascal stress is applied for 70% of the time. In the first step, we can estimate the median cycles to fail from the SN curve. For the first stress level that is at 150 megapascals, we can see that the estimated median cycles to fail is 1 into 10 raised to 4. For the second stress level 110, we can see that the life is median life is 2 into 10 raised to 5. And at 90, it is approximately 2 into 10 raised to 6. And a percent life spent at these three stress levels is indicated as 10, 10, 20 and 70. Now based on this, we can solve this problem. Now let us assume that the life is n number of cycles. We have already seen the equation of minor's rule before. This is reproduced for reference here. In the table, I have added time in terms of n. So at 150 megapascals, it spends 0.1 n or 10% of the life. At 110, the item spends 20% of the time or 0.2 n and at 90% it spends 70% or 0.7 n. Now we can write the equation 0.1 n upon 10 raised to 4 plus 0.2 n upon 2 into 10 raised to 5 plus 0.7 n upon 2 into 10 raised to 6 equals 1. This is only substituting the numbers in the minor's rule. Now if we solve this for n, we can easily see that the life n equals approximately 88106 cycles. In this video, we have explained the concept of SN curve and the endurance limit, the cumulative damage theory and miner's rule and we have also explained an application example of the miner's rule. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Statistical Quality Control. Click the subscribe and bell icon for getting intimations on the future videos.